Ghana, thousands of Chinese miners are involved in an illegal gold rush that's stripping the country of a precious resource. It's destroying farmland and wrecking livelihoods. They have destroyed my future now. It's devastating the environment. A toxic mix of money and weapons is leading to resentment and violence. And the government admits the problem is out of control. The scale is so vast, it is difficult to actually quantify. Look at the national level, uh, they are contributing this much to our total gold exports and, the, and therefore foreign exchange earnings to the country. At the local level, they also play a key role. They stimulate local supported mission to infrastructural development. Across Africa, China is striking deals to secure access to raw materials vital to its economic growth. China's government has given Ghana a $3 billion loan to develop its infrastructure. More than 10,000 Chinese immigrants are arriving here every year, many of them hoping to make money. I was in Dunhua, six hours' drive from the capital Accra. I'd heard that hundreds of Chinese miners had arrived here in the past two years. Their presence in the town was hard to miss. It even has a Chinese supermarket. Dunhua is a boom town. Its streets are lined with shops offering to buy gold. As soon as I arrived, I heard two Chinese miners had been arrested. Outside the police station, I met Francis Aqua. He grows cocoa, one of Ghana's biggest exports. He said he'd arrived at his farm to find that two men had driven a digger onto a field and started to dig for gold. They have excavated the land, destroying the cocoa, the cocoa farm. He said he could scarcely believe what had happened. It, it was a shock to me, because that, that, is my, that is my life. You know, cocoa farming, it's a future. It's my future. They have destroyed my future now. How will I get out for my children and wife? It's a problem now. The miners were in the station, but the police refused to let me see them. Off the record, a senior officer said that the area had been swamped by illegal Chinese miners and he didn't have the resources to stop them. Only Ghanaians can get licenses for small-scale gold mining. Foreigners can provide equipment and services, but just 75 Chinese people have legal permission to do so, according to government figures from August. Ghana's Chamber of Mines says that thousands of Chinese people work in mining. I left town to track down some Chinese miners. Deep in the forest, I could hear an excavator at work. This area used to be covered in trees, and now, as far as the eye can see, they've been cut down. These huge pits have been dug out, and they're filled with water. In the heart of the mine, Chinese miners were digging up the gravel. They were looking for a heavy black sand that contains gold ore. Gold mining is hugely profitable. Because of the global economic downturn, its price has doubled in four years. 40-year-old Huang Renzhong had been a tea farmer in China. He said there was only one reason he'd come. He said he was paid about 120 pounds a week, much more than he could earn in China. Why do Ghanaians need Chinese people to come here and work on these mines? He worked with eight Ghanaians who came from another region. But he said there was tension between the Chinese miners and people from the local villages. There were several empty shotgun cartridges on the ground around us. Why do you need to have guns here? There are regular reports of Chinese miners being robbed for their gold and the money they earn from it. Is it legal for you to be working here on this mine? 
反正那是老板的事情，是他们自己处理。The Minerals Commission, the government body that grants mining licenses, told us it had not authorized a mine here. Off camera, Zhang's boss admitted the mine was operating illegally. According to one expert, 95% of small scale mining is illegal. For decades, Ghanaians have been able to dig for gold using traditional tools. The law aims to provide much needed jobs while protecting the environment. But the arrival of the Chinese has led to big changes. The machinery they use often leaves behind significant amounts of gold that can only be extracted by hand. This has created a new secondary industry that's drawn in thousands more Ghanaians hoping to strike it rich. But it can be dangerous work. <laughs> 